Hello and welcome to Basic Computer Help. Today I'm going to show you how to share files over a network. This is in response to a question I got about two months ago on what cables are best to use to share files from one computer to another. I haven't shared files directly between two computers in about five years so I don't know anymore. So I'm just going to show you how to share files over a network. If you uh, use more than one computer on the same internet connection without having to change all any of your wires or anything like that, then you have a network. The um, so first thing we're going to do is go to Start in Computer, or if you're on Windows XP, it's My Computer, and then go to Properties. Now for speed, I've already I got a lot of programs already up. That way we don't have to wait for them to load. Now in Windows Vista, you're going to get this screen. And in Windows XP, you're going to get a window with a bunch of tabs on top. In Windows XP, if you just click on machine name, the, the tab that says machine name, you'll be fine. That's where you want to go. Now in Windows Vista, you want to come down here where it says computer name, domain, and work group settings. And you want to come over here and change settings. In Windows XP and Vista, it will look this part of the window inside of the tab will look the same. What you want to do is if you're fi sharing files from one computer to the other, you want to make sure your work group are identical. Like mine is McCormick because I share files across seven computers. Um. If you have Windows XP and Windows Vista, you're going to have to change one of them because the default work group name for Windows Vista is work group. The default name for Windows XP is MS Home. So to change that, you just come in here, click change, and just change your work group name. If you did that, you're going to have to restart your computer. Okay, next you're going to want to go into uh, your control panel and go into network and sharing center. You're going to want to enable and dis disable a few things. Network discovery you want to make sure is on and you want to make sure file sharing is on. And then you're going to want to make sure password protected sharing is off. Otherwise, you're going to have to have to log in with a username and password. This is only relevant to Windows Vista. As Windows XP, it is much easier, and there's a lot of steps that aren't involved in this. Another thing you can do is turn on public folder sharing, like I have done. You're going to have to pass Windows off through that UAC where it just ask you for authorization so you're going to need to be an administrator to do it now that that's done we're going to have to pick a folder we want to share go into I've got a folder I created it I just called it BitTorrent right click on it and go down to properties this is the this part is the same for both Windows XP and Windows Vista uh, there's a tab up here called sharing now this is a little different on Windows XP but you can get, you'll get the hang of it uh, in network file and folder sharing just click share in Windows Vista you're gonna have to give guest permissions as a reader a contributor or co-owner I don't know what contributor is, but co-owner means you can read and write to the folder. I think contributor means you can add stuff, but you can't edit it, but I don't do that. And reader is just read only. Now, because this takes a while to actually set up, I'm not going to do it. Uh, in Windows XP, there will be a link to say that says enable file sharing. 
on this computer you click that it'll take a few minutes then it'll enable a checkbox for you it'll be like on the bottom somewhere you check the checkbox and then just hit OK and it'll take a few minutes to set it up and then it'll be done next thing is <clears throat> now to access it you go to start network um, in Windows XP I think it's my network when you go into there you'll get a screen oh crap that looks like this in Windows XP you'll get a bunch of folders it'll say something like shared dock on computer one or something like that in Vista you actually get the computer names so I'll click on my parents computer and they're sharing two printers and two folders and if you click double click on printers all you do is get the printers and you can come into here access whatever's in here or this and access whatever's in here now when you access your own computer you get something different you'll actually get folders you're not even sharing that's because you're like my username is William and I'm already logged in so it detects that and gives me access to my home folder for I actually don't know why <clears throat> now for printer sharing I should have left the control panel open for printer sharing you're going to want to go into control panel printers and find the printer you want to share right click go to properties and sharing and your screen in both Windows XP and Vista will look something similar to this now this is a shared printer on my parents computer so it's all grayed out uh, I can't share any of these because they're software and it will tell me I'm not allowed to to add a network printer you you just t click add printer in Windows XP it's on the side somewhere uh, add network printer I'll stop since it's already got it see I got HP office and Lexmark O I don't need to add any printer so I won't 